Hello, I am Rebecca from my channel. In this video, I'll be sharing the process to create a 5.5 by 8 inches trifold album. The materials you're going to need are paper thinner, tape, double sided tape, strong one. Um, I'm using 3 eighths of an inch and 1 fourth of an inch, scissor, bone folders, liquid glue, rulers board, a scoring board, and cardstock. I'm using 8.5 by 11 and also 12 by 12. Um, for this project, you're going to need the measurements. They are available in the description box. There will be a link to my blog, and in the blog, you can find all the you can find photos and the measurements. Right now, I'm starting by cutting the shipboard, which we will be using to construct the album. Um, in the instruction, you're going to see the first step is shipboard, and you're going to need four different pieces, A, B, C, and D. The number in parentheses are the quantity that you need from this dimension. Um, there you are going to have two pieces of C, one and two. Then you're going to need a piece C3, which is a little smaller. Now I'm cutting the spine pieces, which are C, S1, sorry, S1 and S2. S for spine and C for covers. Once you have all the pieces cut, then you start adding tape to the shipboard, to one side of the shipboard, and try to add the tape in the border, as close to the border as possible. And add a few pieces to the center area. By adding all this tape, you will ensure to have a better, a better construction of the album so it lasts longer. Then you burnish all the tape. Do the same for the five pieces. Once they are ready, you're going to go to a step two, which is the cardstock. You're going to glue two pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock together. I'm using one fourth of an inch tape here to add them. This is to have a bigger piece of, piece of cardstock to cover the shipboard. Use your bone folder. Every time you use double-sided tape, use your bone folder to burnish it because it needs a little bit of pressure to work properly. With the ruler, I'm measuring one inch from the bottom to top in the longest area. You can leave a little bit more, but not less. I, I don't recommend that you leave half inch or three fourths of an inch. I prefer to have one up to one and a half or two inches. On the left side, I'm leaving 1.5 inches or one and three fourths of an inch. The first piece that I added to the cardstock is C1. Now I'm leaving a one fourth of an inch gap in between the two pieces and I'm adding the spine one, S1. I will continue with this 
leaving one fourth of an inch gap in between all the pieces. The order to add the pieces is C1, S1, C2, S2, and finally C3. Now I'm using a one inch ruler remove the excess on the top remember you can leave more than of an inch up to two inches but not less on the sides i always want to i always leave a little bit more right now i'm just cutting the barcode use a strong tape here to add it to the borders, to the edges of the shipboard pieces. Use good tape here. This is very important to secure the, the cardstock there and for the durability of the album. Now I'm adding tape to the border of the cardstock. Burnish the tape with your bone folder. And now use the bone folder to fold the car stock. I, prefer, I like to do this before removing the tape backing um, to prevent the album to get bubbles or the cardstock um, have some type of problem that it broke or something. So I do this preparation before and when it is ready that everything is folded and I'm sure that it will bend properly then I remove the tape and add it to the chipboard. Sorry for the mistakes in my English. I usually don't speak English. I'm always speaking Spanish at home. So if I made a few mistakes here, I hope you understand me. I'm, I'm sorry for that. I'm cutting the corners, leaving a little bit of cardstock in the in the edge of it, so the shipboard is not as exposed when you fold it. I remove the tape backing from all the shipboard pieces, and then I remove 
the tape backing from the cardstock that I'm folding, the area I'm folding. I'm, I'm folding the corners. I like to do the longest side first and then the shorter side. Now I remove the backing of this area. I'm working with it. I'm taking my time to fold all the pieces. Now I'm going to the shorter sides. I'm folding the corners a little bit to cover the the chipboard well and I'm repeating the same step here. Now the binder is ready but we need to add the pages and do a few more steps. Now I'm showing you two pages that I made and I didn't notice the camera runs out of, of battery. This piece is the one that after you have after the notes in the paper with the dimensions is the right side and the left side. You just add tape and add those extensions to the left and to the right. It's a very simple step. You just need to add them um, to the edge of the chipboard. This step now, um, I'm using the other two sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock to cover the chipboard in this area. This is something that you don't have to do if you don't want. I like to do it because I don't want any any piece of the chipboard to be seen in the album so just for aesthetic purpose I cover them and if you want you can add more tape in the center area in the middle so you don't have any bubbles I just added two pieces of tape and it was not enough the, paper, the pattern papers later covered that, but in, if I made this album again, I will add more tape there. When you add these pieces, place them near the scored border that you have in the left, very near, but don't overlap them. Measure the size here that you need and cover the area placing the cardstock side by side don't overlap them you don't want any bump there you see there are some bubbles i cannot fix that just cover them with pattern paper later Now, let's go in the instruction to the left side where you're going to find pieces A, B, and C. These three pieces will be added to the left side of the trifle. We are working right now with the left side. You're going to need one piece of A, two pieces of B, and one piece of C. The process is the same for all parts. When you cut the pieces, you score, you add tape, you use the, your bone folder to burnish the tape and to fold the, the scored borders, and then you add them to the album. When I construct my albums, when I build them, I usually score them at half of an inch and I use 3 eighths of an inch tape 
because 3 8 is a little bit smaller than half of an inch so this is the perfect size to add tape without um, getting worried about adding tape to the squirt mark you see I'm adding the tape near the score line but never touching it the tape should never touch the score the score line do the same for all the pieces burnish the tape bend the squirt borders fold them with the score with the bone folder and then add the pages right now i'm adding page a to the album on top of the chipboard but not in the square line burnish well now i'm going to add flaps b there are two flaps of the same size. I'm adding them near the, the square line, but don't touching it. Not touching it. Try to leave the same space on the top and in the bottom. Now we're uh, I'm adding page C, the flap C. It is in the edge. This is the left side of the trifold. Pieces A, B, and C. Now I'm going to work in the middle. For this, I'm going to cut six pieces of the same size. These are E. Right now, I'm cutting piece G, which is a belly band. And now, I'm cutting piece F. These are all the pieces for the middle area of the trifle. I score the six pieces at half of an inch. Score the belly band at one inch. Here I'm adding the tape to the six pieces. Once they are, re they are ready, 
proceed to use your bone folder to burnish the tape and to fold the flaps, the square flaps. Before adding the pieces to the middle area, you need to cover the area first with pattern paper and you need to add the belly band. I made a mistake here. The belly band should be added first and then the pattern paper. Yes, I add a lot of tape to my project. I live in Puerto Rico and the humidity here is very strong, so sometimes the paper fall, up, fall apart from the album, so I need to secure them. You see, I'm adding the pattern paper, and now with all this tape and glue, I need to add the belly band. So I'm using a spatula to create um, space underneath the pattern paper and I can slip the belly band easily so I'm adding glue here liquid glue so it can slide easily there now I'm going to show you how to make the cascade or waterfall um, I forgot to turn the camera on, so I don't have the process video for this. Here you can see that I added one piece, then the other, the other just below, never overlapping. You can leave five of an inch in the top or in the bottom and start from bottom to top or from top to bottom. Just add the six pieces and at the end cover that last score border with the piece of cardstock that you have here. Let's proceed to the right side. I'm cutting pieces H, two of them, I, one of them, J, two of them, and K, one of them. pieces I and K are going to be pockets. For the pockets, you need to score in three sides. I usually made my videos um, shorter, shorter, but sometimes people write me and ask me to make the, the videos a little bit longer in trying to, ask me to try to make them in real time. Um, this is not, for me, it is not easy because sometimes I start a project and I pause it and go to do some chores or to grab my kids from school or do something and then I come back and continue so for me it's easier to show you how to make the things and in a fastest way and I don't know I like I prefer to see shorter videos I, I don't know what you prefer Tell me about that in the comments if you want so I can learn what you want. After adding the tape, I burnish them, I fold the flaps, and now I'm adding them to the binder. Right now I'm adding pieces H. This is in the sheet board. 
of the left side. This was on top of seat 3. This eye is a pocket. Um, cutting the corners diagonally. Check that the flaps are not touching. You don't want any bumps in your album. So I'm checking that when I fold them, there are no bumps. So now that it is ready, I'm removing the tape bagging and I'm adding the pocket to the border, but never touching the escorting line, the sport line. We have this area ready. I'm going to add a magnet here to secure those flaps. If you don't have magnet, you can use Velcro. Once you decorate your album, at the end, you can add a little bit of Velcro or use any other mechanism. Some people use sometimes ribbon, twine or something to, to secure those areas. Bottom circles. Now I'm adding pieces J, these two flaps, the same way we made it before. Try to leave the same space on top and on the bottom, and never in the scored lines. Now we close the area and we are going to add the pocket K. This pocket is a little bit different. It is diagonal, uh, diag it has a diagonal cut. So I'm measuring two and three fourths of an inch on the left side and I'm using the trimmer to cut from the edge of the right side to the point we mark on the left. I'm cutting the corners. I'm very fine. There is no bump. I have a bump in both, so I'm trying to fix that. I still have the bump, so I'm going to cut a little bit more. It is ready now, so I'm adding it to the album. As you can see, I'm always have the trash can near me. I I can't work in a surface that is not organized. I'm cutting the excess here of this corner, and it is ready. Just burnish, and our trifold is done. You can see you have the pages on the left the cascade or waterfall in the center and the pages and pockets on the right side. Now I'm going to show you a flip through video of how I finished this album. I made this album for simple stories using simple vintage very filled collection. It is one of their newest release from this summer 2023 and I made this for the Instagram hop that they are holding and if you're watching this on time go check their Instagram because they are giving away some collection don't miss this opportunity you already you already see the middle now let's see the left side I used the 6x8 paper pad, I used the, a few pieces of the 12x12 12 12 papers, I used stickers from the sticker book and the 12x12 12 12 sheet of sticker, I used die cuts. In the interior pages, basically I, I used a lot of flat embellishment. I don't want any bump here, so the album can close properly and last longer. And I try not to use foam tape. If I use it, they should be very 
very thin. In the cover, I use chipboard, layer chipboard. I use foam. I love the foam, but I prefer that for the covers. This is a mini album that you can adapt for your prod for different products, and you can change the flaps. You can move them from one side to another or create your own flaps or pockets because it is very easily to adapt. I had a lot of fun doing this album. I will be adding photos of my daughter's second birthday. The decoration was a little red riding hood, sorry. <laughs> and I'll be adding them soon. Um, I hope you enjoy this album. If you like it and make something out of it, just tag me so I can see your creations. And don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more inspiration. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.